but now there's an all new player coming to town with a greater overall length than a Zam and a greater gross tonnage than Motoyot Dilba. I give you Motoyot. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. If you are new to the channel, a big warm welcome. My name is Tristan Mortlock and this is Captain's Vlog. Now, before we continue with today's episode, I wanna tell you guys about the Instagram page, Super Yachts Worldwide. Now, I will be doing an Instagram takeover this coming summer and I will be showing a day in the life of a Super Yacht Captain. So please browse their Instagram page and give them a follow. Now today's episode is all about the biggest mega yacht in the world. Uh, or the soon to be the biggest mega yacht in the world. Now, um, the way people calculate size of vessels, there's two different mindsets. One is the length overall, and the other is gross tonnage, which is calculated by the volume of the vessel. Now, if you like to calculate by length overall, then for sure the longest yacht or super yacht or mega yacht or giga yacht in the world whatever you prefer to call it has to be motor yacht azam and if you want to calculate by gross tonnage then for sure the biggest yacht in the world will be dilbar now going back to motor yacht azam she was launched back in april 2013 has a very impressive 180 meters length overall or for the American viewers, that's 590 feet. Capable of reaching speeds up to 30 knots from her 23,500 horsepower engines, Azam has a very small draft for a vessel of her size at only 4.3 meters or 14 feet. Azam is most definitely an icon in the Giga Yacht world and has a gross tonnage of 13,136. Motor yacht Dilbar, on the other hand, is certainly not the longest yacht in the world at 156 meters or 512 feet, but she most certainly has the highest gross tonnage in the world at 15,917 gross tons. Launched in 2016, Dilbar has a crew of 80 and capable of sleeping up to 40 guests. Motor yacht Dilbar certainly has an unbelievable presence wherever she goes. Both Azam and Dilba were built by probably the most famous Giga Yacht shipyard in the world, Lursen. Both yachts are reported to have cost around 600 million US dollars to build. The German yacht builder has built some of the world's most prestigious and recognizable yachts. But now there's an all new player coming to town with a greater overall length than a Zam and a greater gross tonnage than Motor Yacht Dilba. I give you Motor Yacht Rev.
At 182.9 meters in length and 17,440 gross tons, Mosey Yacht Rev will be the biggest yacht in the world by length overall and gross tonnage. She will have just over a 21,000 nautical mile range at a speed of 11 knots. The yacht has been designed by Norway's Espen Oino, famous for designing the late Port Allen's motor yacht Octopus, Ocean Victory, and also designed the motor yacht Dilbar. The owner of the boat will be Norway's Kel Ingrock, one of Norway's wealthiest businessmen. 40% of the vessel will be dedicated to scientists and scientific research to improve and gain better knowledge of the world's oceans. Red will also be fitted with trawler nets specially designed to clean up the world's rubbish and to collect live species up to 3,000 meters below sea level. As you may not expect, the yacht will not be built by Blurson, but by the Norwegian shipyard Vard. The hull of the motor yacht Rev will be constructed in Romania before being shipped to Norway for the outfitting. Vard's shipyard employs over 9,000 workers to design and build their vessels and are one of the leading innovators in ship design. One of the largest shareholders of Vard's shipyards is none other than Italy's Fin Cantiera Group, which over the past 200 years have built more than 7,000 vessels. This mighty yacht is set to be launched in 2020 and I for one am much looking forward to seeing it with my own eyes on the high seas. All right guys, thank you again so much for watching. I hope you're still all enjoying the channel. Please do subscribe, please click that like button. If you have any questions, please post them in the comments box below. But for now, that's the end of Captain's vlog and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.